A Day in the Life of a Nicobar Long-Tailed Macaque Hi friends, how are you all today? I heard that people on the mainland don't know much about us island monkeys. Let me take you on a tour of my day. Maybe that will help you understand the lives of Nicobar Long-Tailed Macaques. We are named so because of our long tails and our home, the Nicobar Islands. Let's dive straight into our day. We usually wake up at the crack of dawn. Us kids usually have a lot of energy to fuel our day. I hope you are ready to go on an adventure. We will be going through the residential area today. The route depends on the roosting site that we picked the previous evening. We slept in the cashew tree that you see behind you. We often stop here for breakfast. Here, we can feed on mangoes, berries, bananas, etc. Another one of my favorite things to eat are eggs. My aunt is quite skilled at approaching the chicken coop undetected and stealing eggs. I get chased off by the rooster every time I try, so I have given up. Apart from this, we also raid kitchens in the hope of finding something exciting. For instance, my brother is taking a jar of jam through the kitchen window. Jam tastes so good. I just don't hope that it has jam in it because people often store different things in these jars. I hate it when I open the jar of jam expecting jam but I find pickles instead. I wonder why people don't put the right things in the right bottles. Read the labels people. I have had jam before from the supermarket. I am taking you there next. I call the garbage dump the supermarket because we tend to find so many things there. From lychee juice to holics to coconut oil. It just takes some time to sift through the stuff. Humans end up wasting so much. It's so hot now and I'm tired from all the eating. Now it's time for rest. On the way down to the resting spot, I will show you a very interesting tree. This is called the pandanus tree. Do you see that orange cluster on the tree that resembles a pineapple? That is the fruit. It tastes so good. We usually suck the juice and drop the hard seed. In a way, we are helping the plant propagate. Additionally, some pigs also eat the fruit that we drop. We cannot resist gorging on these fruits. I think now I am definitely full. We should go down and rest in the temple for some time. I like spending time here. We often find some snacks near the idols. My mom usually grooms me when we rest. Grooming is a fun and necessary activity. It helps strengthen our bonds and keeps parasites away. So it's a win-win. After a quick nap, we can go towards the coconut patch. We love coconuts. Though I cannot break open a coconut on my own, my aunts and uncles can. It's an art. We can observe how it's done. First, we must climb a suitable tree and locate a coconut. We then start removing the husk from one point. We then make a small hole to reach the center and we can drink the tasty water and eat the coconut meat inside. It's getting cloudy. It'll start raining soon. In Nicobar, it can rain any time. We take shelter under that big banyan tree. Because it rains so often here, we usually take shelter for some time, but if it continues to rain, we go on about our business. We don't mind getting a little wet. We will be moving towards these houses with homes and gardens. Wow, they have fresh cow peas. We have to be very careful though. If we make a lot of noise, people will come and chase us away. There are some bananas here too. I always peel bananas before eating. The peel tastes so bad. I think it's time to head to the roosting spot. It's getting dark. There is a spot some distance away where we have slept before. I'm quite tired. I'm glad we reached here. Looks like there is still some time to play before calling it a day. It's dark now. I should sleep so I can wake up on time tomorrow. I hope you had a good time with me and my troop. Now go back home and tell your friends all you learned about the Nicobar long-tailed macaques.